What up, what up, what up? It's your favorite cup of tea. We're here for another episode of Spirit of Tea, and I got the beautiful Sydney shot in. What's up, girl? What it do? Let them know where they can find you on social media. You can find me at Sydney Cheyenne, C Y D N E I C H Y A N on everything Instagram, Twitter, all that. Okay, R&B singer, y'all seen her at one of my shows I did with 40 Ounce Po. It was some time ago. She was recently at the Carefree Black Girl event, and she's all around the city, and the Blue EP is amazing. So tell us a little bit about that project. Um, the Blue EP is my baby. Um, it's my first official project I put out to the world. It's streaming on all platforms. Um, Blue is like just a mood. Um, it's a vibe. It's more just that confident boost that you need um it's only seven songs about 20 minutes okay yeah. so it's your first project so how did you get started with music um i got started with music through poetry writing um and then after that i kind of developed my voice and when i moved back here in 2013 that's when i started really getting into music with my cousin he mm -hmm. records or whatever so i started like being around him and stuff like that and then that's kind of how i started recording move back here so you're originally from atlanta but you moved to so i was born in indianapolis but oh. i was raised here so i'm from atlanta um yeah uh, i moved to indianapolis my sophomore year of high school so i went to i was in indianapolis for about four years then moved back here so yeah Hey, dope, dope. So we're going to get to know you a little more. We're going to have a little fun. Woo! We're going to play Never Have I Ever. Hey. So we played this once before. Girl. We played this once before on my channel. So it's going to be wild. Okay. So you got to be real. Okay. Because I'm going to be real. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold up these plates. Oh, is this mine? Okay. Yep. Yeah, these are mine. Okay. So if you have, you'll say, I have. If you never, I never. Okay. And then we're going to talk about it. Okay. Okay? All right. So, never have I ever masturbated. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, if you don't mind me asking, are you in a relationship? Yes. So do you still masturbate while in a relationship? No. No? Okay. No. It's yeah, it's unnecessary. It's right, it's unnecessary. Know. Yeah. So when did you first like start masturbating? Um, she's that like, is uh, a, actually an interesting. You know what? I really did not think he was gonna be asking me these type of questions. Like, <laughs> I'm really not even gonna lie. We gonna spill like, some tea. The funny thing is, you was like, you gonna be ready, like, and I'm really <laughs> was not fucking ready. No, but um. I don't know, I guess when I like explore like what porn was, probably like maybe like middle school, like eighth, seventh, eighth grade, I think. Maybe. You know what I mean? Like when you really Yeah. Yeah. I think for me, explore masturbation, I was grown, but like I didn't know how to properly do it until somebody used such toys on me and I was uh, like, wait. Oh, Okay, okay, so this is what I do. Okay, cool. Okay. So I was doing the wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. I was a kid. Like, I mean, I feel like when I was a kid, like, I was raised, like, very open. Like, and my mom talked to me, like, about sex and stuff like that. I definitely was not one of them kids. I was like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. So I was definitely one of them curious ass kids. You know, like, when I was in middle school, I think that was, like, when I was really curious of my body. Not necessarily sexually, because I still was uncomfortable with the act of sex. I just think it was just more of, like, What's what's going on? Ever have I ever been jumped? Oh my god, I have. Who jumped? Who jumped, Sydney? Why would Who you jumped even you? ask me the story? <laughs> Who jumped you? What happened? Wow, these are these are questions. Um, <laughs> I you know what? I got jumped the week of my graduation, my high school graduation. I went to graduation with a big lip. What high school? Um, was it in Georgia? Mm -mm. It was in Indiana. Uh, it was in Indianapolis. Uh, Lawrence Central High School. And my best friend at the time, she was actually fighting. So me, you know, they were hitting her in the car. So that me, I was just telling a girl, like, because it was my car and I was just telling her, you know, just back up. Like, you know, because if y'all gonna fight, because it, it was a one-on-one -on -one fight. So I'm one of them type of people, like, I'm your friend, so I'm going to have your back. Of course. But I'm not going to fight your shit. But then it was more people. More people started jumping in. Like, when I went over there, I was like, chill. Started fighting. Like, and Did I got... Did jumping on you? Yes. Like, Did you have bruises? Yes. I was getting stumped. Yes. I remember it. My hair. And the funny thing is, we had just left a party because it was graduation. So, everybody was celebrating. Like, mm -hmm. I think... I got jumped on like a Wednesday. I feel uh -huh. like graduation was on like a fucking Friday. Like it was that fast. And 
yeah my ass had on a skirt i had on a bandeau at the time so i really was not prepared to fight titties so did out. the bandeau come on titties oh, out oh hair my pulled. god bro honestly was the worst was the worst and if world star would have been i would have been on world star <laughs> It was probably in like 2013 I went to Georgia Southern for like a homecoming so like I see my friends fighting some girls mm. and then I just see them it's like randomly we came to these apartments they were fighting and you know same thing with yeah. you like you see your friends fighting you gonna hop in so I hop in and like okay we good I'm pulling the girls off and then we good and then like three more girls come they grab me by my hair I had this boy jacket on because it was cold and I had like my phone in his pockets so I guess like they snatched the jacket off me and like I just know everything happened so quick and I got up without a jacket, without a phone, <laughs> without a phone and everything and then the boy, he was like mad, he was like, oh my god, that was like a LeBron jacket I spent XYZ, my I'm like, well nigga, my iPhone gone, so fuck that. <laughs> ever have I ever been publicly embarrassed? Publicly embarrassed. <laughs> what happened? I'm always being publicly embarrassed if I was the person to get embarrassed. Um, my first day of what? It was my first day of school. It was my first day of high school. What happened? At another school in Indianapolis. It was my first day of high school there. I fell in the middle of a cafeteria, so that was embarrassing. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's not. I was in. <laughs> when I went to Grady. Um, I was a sophomore in college, I mean a sophomore in high school at Grady and I freaking bled all over my pants. That was the most embarrassing thing. That might, yes, that was actually the most embarrassing thing I, I could have ever experienced. See, it might happen the exact same way. Like, my embarrassing moment, me and my best friends, they, they tell the story to everybody and it makes me so fucking mad. So we was all chilling. So first of all, one we were in like 11th, 12th grade. One mm -hmm. tried to do my eyebrows. We mm -hmm. went to a party. She tried to do my eyebrows, snatched the whole eyebrow off. Oh. So we so we had to go to the store, get scissors, cut me a bang. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one. Then we were like catching Marta to go to this party. So like we get off the party and one of them <laughs> stepped on the back of my sandal and the sandal rope. Oh my god, okay. We get to the party and then I bled in a white skirt. Oh. But the embarrassing thing was we were in the party and then we were leaving and not one of them saw it, but another person saw it. <laughs> never have I ever been labeled as a thought. Oh yeah, never. Never. Yeah. Um, For some oh. reason, <laughs> this bitch, <laughs> you, <laughs> this bitch I have. <laughs> For some reason, on Twitter, like, a couple weeks ago, somebody made a fake page of me. I don't know mm -hmm. if you're on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Somebody made, like, a fake page, and it was just like, Tika B, sucking everybody dick, eating everybody coochie, she interviews. Jesus. She's a thot. She be fucking niggas after her events. Da, 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 da. It was, it was just crazy. I was like, and they were, like, mentioning A3C. And like they were like tagging everybody. Like That's I interviewed Neela, Yanni Mo. They tagged everybody and was like, cause it was like they were acting as me, and it was like, when are you gonna let me eat your coochie again? And all this, <laughs> all oh, this type hell. of crazy stuff. I did not know about that. I did not see that. <laughs> I, did, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> but that's good. That's never happened to you. <laughs> yes, it has. Never that is so to me. good. Never have I ever broke up with someone to get into another relationship. <laughs> Or are you gonna get in trouble on this one? No, I'm not gonna. Ah! I'm not gonna get in trouble. But why are you asking me these type of questions? Ah! <laughs> I oh, oh my God! What happened? What? Ha are you gonna get in trouble? Are you no, gonna get in trouble? I'm not gonna get in trouble. But goddamn, yeah, we trying to spell some these tea. Are, this is real tea. This that is some does real tea to be spilled. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Um, him <laughs> right here. We've been together on and off. We've been together for a while since middle school, and we broke up. We took a little break, and I got into another relationship for a minute. And I seen him at a at a at a video shoot, and I broke up with the person I was with. So, ooh, can I ask, what excuse did you use to break up with this person? Why are we asking this? I, we this person's gonna watch this <laughs> um I'm gonna put this in perspective for you uh, okay you're in you're in a situation you're in a relationship 
and we were young like it was um, it, we were young so we weren't we weren't how we are now so he was kind of playing I was kind of playing so then this other guy comes and shows me a little bit of attention and at that time me and him we weren't doing well so we end up breaking up and the other guy he's just super nice like we're just friends he's just nice and so that's kind of how that relationship ended up being mm. if that makes sense it wasn't it, it definitely like to this day no bad blood wish him the best of luck um in case he's watching <laughs> yeah so but that is so funny. your questions i'm just like wow like <laughs> of all shit <laughs> but yeah that's well, I definitely do appreciate you so much for allowing me to come into your space and Thank spill some you. tea. Let them know one last time where they can follow you on social media. Follow me at Sydney Cheyenne, C-Y-D-N-E-I-C-H-Y-A-N. I'm on Twitter, Instagram. Not really on Facebook, but I'm on Facebook. You can follow me there. Yeah, like, let's talk. Let's chat. Thank you so Thank much you. for having me. No problem. Make sure you check out the Blue EP. Blue, I'm sorry, the Blue EP. Everything is below in the description. Make sure y'all follow her. Everything listen will be in the description. Listen to the Blue EP. Listen to it. Wu -Tang. Apple Music. Oh, yeah, and listen to Wu-Tang. I like 100, y'all. Like she likes 100. <laughs> the whole tape is a jig, but Wu-Tang is the single that we pushing. So fucking go listen to it. Go listen. Everything below. Subscribe. Leave a comment. What y'all think about Sydney? About these stories she just told What y'all think about? Yeah. <laughs>